WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finished down 237. NASDAQ off 29. S&P's off 28. Gold. Gold contract up $25. Traded at $18.47 an ounce. We had silver up 42 cents, $21.96 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2, $111.62 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note traded up 10 ticks, 140.20. The 30 year up a full, uh, a full point plus. Where are we? No, no. I'm sorry, folks. The 10 year up 9 ticks at 119.23. The 30 year up 9 ticks at 140.19. And King Dollar. King Dollar uh, traded down 1,009 ticks. At 105, the euro is trading out here at 105. The dollar is trading at 102. The euro is at 105. The yen is at 127. The British pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. We go take a look at the S&P, folks. What you had out here is that my take is that we've built cause to go after the B point tomorrow. You get option expiration. Uh, bottom line, you're going to have the volume, you know, so... Uh, we had the SPY get up to 394 today, couldn't hold it, closed out at uh, 389. Take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, same type of setup. Bottom line, couldn't hold price. You had a sideways move all day. Uh, the Qs did 75 million, same as yesterday. Uh, they're down 156. You're laying right next to it. You know what I mean, so this thing wants to get whacked. That's 284.34. Gold. Gold caught a bid, and that was all, of course, the good old U.S. dollar. The bottom line, your gold's up $24.50. It broke its downtrend. It finally broke its downtrend. The downtrend we're talking about is the downtrend from that uh, started out here going back to April. Uh, that number's 2009. So right now, what you should see is that you're going to see it run starting where we are. Bottom line, we're at 1846 to 2009. And if we go over to King Dollar and take a look at King Dollar, what you're going to see there, no doubt, is that King Dollar came down 1,002 ticks. Now, for the tomorrow, we want to see King Dollar, if you're in the metals market, we want to see King Dollar close under 103, basically 700. You close there, and then you are going to have a nice setup because what you'll have specifically is that you're going to have just one spike over the consolidation. You come right back down. If we got, if we got 1,000 ticks tomorrow, what would happen is that you'd actually have a, a full break of the uptrend, and then you could make a speculation that you're going to 95 on the U.S. dollar. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.